Hello everyone. Uh, today in this topic, we will talk about the polluter pay principle under the environment law. So we will discuss the meaning of polluter pay principle and uh, we will also discuss the origin of this topic that is from the Rio declaration. Uh, we will take some of the case laws which are decided by the Supreme Court of India where the Supreme Court that has applied the polluter pay principle and then we'll take uh, the burden of proof in case of polluter pay principle. So yes, starting from uh, with some of the words which are said by Plato and he says that if anyone intentionally spoils the water of another, let him not only pay damages for that, but purify the stream or cistern that means the reservoir which contains the water. Now the meaning of polluter pay principle. Now it is a principle which is well recognized uh, in the modern time under the environment law where the polluter pays for the damages which is done to the natural environment due to the activities which are carried on by the polluter. Now simply it means that whosoever is responsible for the damages which is caused to the environment, that person himself must born, uh, bear the cost of the which are associated with the pollution as well. Now this principle, it seeks to shift the responsibility which is generally there on the government and this uh, this responsibility it is shifted to the to the person who is the polluter himself now that person shall have to bear the cost for the pollution which that person has done with to the environment now talking about the origin of the this principle the polluter pay principle now principle 16 of the Rio declaration, it talks about the application of the polluter pay principle. Now it says that the national authorities should endeavor to promote internalization of environmental cost and the use of economic instruments. And they should take into account the approach that the polluter should in principle, bear the cost of the pollution which uh, that person has caused to the public at large. Now, some of the case laws where the Supreme Court has applied or either explained the principle, uh, the polluter pay principle. So the case, uh, in this case, a Research Foundation for Science versus Union of India the Supreme Court explained the meaning of polluter pay principle. And it said that basically the polluter pay principle, it means that the producer of the goods or other items should be responsible for the cost of preventing or dealing with any pollution that the, the process of the polluter, it causes to the environment. Further in Another case that is Indian Council for Enviro Legal Action versus Union of India. Now in this case, the Supreme Court of India, it observed that it is of the opinion that any principle evolved in, uh, by the Supreme Court that must be or by the environment uh, related uh, activities. Now that should be simple, practical, and suited to the conditions which is prevailing in the country. Now in this case, what happened that there were many uh, private companies who, who were uh, carrying on certain chemical activities and they were causing pollution to the soil as well as to the water and to the nearby villages. And a petition under Article 32 of the Constitution of India that was filed by an NGO against such companies. And the court, the Supreme Court that ruled that uh, 
uh, whether it, it doesn't matter that uh, the companies who are carrying certain hazardous activities and thereby causing pollution to the nearby villages it doesn't matter that whether those companies they have taken all the reasonable care for the prevention of the pollution the court was of the opinion that if due to the activities of those company if any kind of pollution or hazard that happens to be against the resident of the villages who were residing in the near nearby villages now in that case these companies they are liable for making good that loss which they have created in terms of pollution to the people who were residing in those area another case in which the supreme court it imposes a huge fine on the company that was in sterline industries india private limited versus union of india now in this case the supreme court of india it applied the polluter pay principle and taking into account the magnitude of the uh, and pollution which was caused by the originator and also taking into account the prosperity uh, and the capacity of the appellant the, the supreme court in this case directed the appellant company to pay a compensation of rupees 100 crore and uh, for the reason that that come that industries has failed to maintain the emission and effluents standards which were prescribed and further the company was carrying its activities without the renewal permission from the concerned authority finally talking about the burden of proof so the burden of proof in case of uh, this principle that shall lie on the environment regulators they will have to prove to the satisfaction of the court that uh, the the owner of the industry or the uh, such persons they have caused uh, caused the pollution and the this principle is applicable in certain cases thank you Thank you.